Everyday Math 210. Um, today we're looking at applying these fractions. So we've been multiplying, we've been dividing, we've used mixed numbers, we've converted them to decimals, we've uh, compared and contrasted them. So now what we want to do is use them in uh, multi-step problems. So the first step we're going to look at, uh, the first problem rather, is Sam had three quarters of a pound of granola. So each day he took one eighth pound to school for a snack. If he had a quarter pound left over, how many days did Sam take granola to school? So the first thing I want to do is find what I'm actually referring to here. So if I had three quarters of a pound, and I know that at the end I have one quarter left over, how much did I actually use? So we're going to subtract the one quarter that he has left over. So now I can find out how much granola I actually used, right? So 3 fourths minus 1 fourth, now since I am adding or subtracting with fractions, I need a common denominator. And this one already has one, it's a fourth. So we're taking 3 fourths and we're subtracting 1 fourth, and that leaves me with 2 fourths left. That 2 fourths is what he actually took to school. The next part of the question, each day he took 1 eighth of a pound, and I need to know how many days he did that. So how many 1 eighths are in 2 fourths or 1 half, right? So I'm going to take my two-fourths that I have left over, and I know that I always say if you can simplify a fraction, you should simplify a fraction, but we're just going to keep this for the continuity of the problem here, right? I have two-fourths, and I need to divide that into one-eighth pieces. Well, this gets back to a problem we easily know how to solve. I'm going to keep it, change it, flip it, two-fourths times eight over one, and I would get 16 fourths and 16 divided by 4 because every fraction is a division problem. 16 divided by 4 gives me 4. So how many days did he take granola to school? He took them 4 days. Okay, so it's more about thinking what am I trying to get to and what can I eliminate out of this problem? Right, that's really the, the most difficult thing about the multi-step problem solving is finding which pieces you don't need. What are the distractors in the problem, for example? So, if I were to clear this, and I find one more problem, okay? So, for this one, for a science experiment, Mr. Barrows divides two-thirds of a cup of salt into small jars, each containing one-twelfth of a cup. If he has one-sixth of a cup of salt left over, how many jars does he fill? Well, here is the biggest part of this problem is, number one, uh, I know that I have all different sizes of fractions, right? Two-thirds, one-six, one-twelfth. But in my head, I'm going, hmm, three, six, and twelve are all multiples of three. So that might come in handy later if we need to find some uh, common denominators. So I'm starting with two-thirds of a cup of salt. And then I know that I have how much left over? I have one-sixth of a cup left over. So let's take that one-sixth and let's just set that aside so that I, I'm only focusing on what I distributed into the jars. So 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. And as we said before, we're adding and subtracting with fractions, so we need to have a common denominator. And I know that 2 thirds and 1 sixth, uh, let's see, 3 and 6 have at least common multiple of 6. So let's just convert this by multiplying both my numerator and my denominator by 2. And this problem comes into 4 sixths. That's an equivalent fraction of 2 thirds minus one sixth, four minus one, that gives me three sixths. So three sixths I've distributed into jars. Now I know that I'm gonna take this part and divide it up, three sixths, divide it into jars that are one twelfth of a cup. And I need to know how many jars I have here. Well, division of fractions, I'm gonna keep it, change it, flip it. I'm going to keep 3 sixths. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And I'm going to flip 1 12th to 12 over 1. I would come right across. Now you could simplify both 3 and 6, and that would simplify down to uh, 1 half, and then 2 and 12 would simplify again. But for the sake of the problem, and honestly because most students somehow uh, seem to enjoy multiplying and then simplifying, we're going to do that. 3 times 12 is 36. And 6 times 1 is 6. What is 36 divided by 6? Of course, it is 6. So how many jars does he fill? He 
fills six jars. So the goal being, uh, Mr. Barrows divides two thirds of a cup of salt into small jars, each containing one twelfth of a cup, and he has one sixth left over. So I ask myself, number one, what can I get rid of right away? There's, there's multiple steps to this problem. So let's just take what's left over and move it to the side. So I subtract the one sixth, and then I say, now I know what I've used in a day. What do I have to divide that up into, these, these one twelfth jars? So then I take my three sixths, or my, what would simplify to one half, and I divide it into one twelfth cups. And then I find out that I'll have six of them. Now, of course, you can work the problem backwards to check your answer, uh, but I think you'll find that it's still very true. So again, see what you can eliminate, work through the steps, and make sure that you've answered every part of the problem.